You can never have too many toasters. Here's all the ones I could find across the whole studio lot. You might need to unplug some of them to get the lights to stop flickering, but you know what they say. All toasters toast toast. Here's our shovelware's brain game grand champion. Don't touch that dial. Shovelware's brain game will be back with another episode after a short break. This episode is brought to you by Checkpoint Insurance. Injured? Good. You might just be entitled to a respawn. Brain, check. Game, double check. Shovelwares, triple check. We've got all the ingredients we need to throw together an episode of Shovelwares Brain Game. Introducing the banana with a plan, the dancing banana. What's the word? A new cart! Somebody left it out in the parking lot of Marsh's grocery store. Can you believe it? Which of these is an antonym of the word arbitrary? Nonsense non sequiturs. <laughs> hey. 
Okay, look, I'm going to level with you. I'm already running out of ideas for questions. I'm just going to play some white noise for the next 10 seconds and then throw some choices up on the screen just to pick from them at random. Not from my perspective. Probably geography. I want to go to Canada to visit Niagara Falls, eat some delicious brand pancakes with authentic maple syrup, and even visit the childhood home of Bordy the Smart Board in Alberta. But um, I can't find it on my globe, somehow. Oh, Canada, which continent can you be found on? Knowing that should help me narrow it down a bit, eh? Nonsense non sequiturs. Do you even know how to drive? Taste test. Coffee is made by roasting and blending a certain something. What is that certain something? You've just posted cringe. Monumental landmarks. Surely you've heard of the Great Wall of China? But just how great is it? Uh, by great, I mean long. Monumental landmarks. <laughs> the Tiger Poster. The Leaning Tower of Pisa is one of the most famous buildings in the world, notable for its iconic and eponymous lean. How long did it take for it to be built? Hey, hey, hey. 
It's lit, fam! Alas, poor Yorick! Uh, line? I give up. I don't like that. Which phobia is the fear of repeating patterns and clusters of small holes? Trains, planes, and automobiles. <laughs> this certification proving you're legally able to operate the forklift. With this, all your dreams will come true, as long as they're forklift related. Starting in World War II, pilots would often have what's called nose art painted on their planes. No, not art painted using a nose. Oh, you silly goose. Art painted on the nose of the airplane. A good number of those fighter planes had a certain ferocious animal's face painted onto their fronts. Which animal is it? Math zone. What is thirty six plus four? Math Zone! Can you solve this math equation? With one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fantastic sides and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight awesome angles, this octagonal eye catching sign is perfect for sprucing up your neighborhood. Oh man, oh, that sounded bad. Um, if anyone asks, this isn't a real one we took from the nearest four way intersection.
You're this episode's grand champion. That's a wrap for this episode. Tune in next time for more of the same. I like to see that pompous pepper over Google Game Food on half a show as good as this. Shovelware's Brain Game is brought to you by Smart Technologies. No, seriously, they paid us to make this.